Okay, so this is my mag holster. I've designed it to where your index finger finds the front of your mag, and so when you draw your magazine that is lined up, and when you draw your weapon, you can index to install your mag. It helps you line up with your index finger being right there, and also helps you to reinstall it back in. So that's the way I've designed my mag. So you, so your front finger finds your mag like that, come over, and reload. And that's why it only goes in one way. Uh, so this way, it's not backwards. You're not confused. It will only go in one way like that. All right? So my holster's been designed to where, and every pair of pants is different, is to where with a loop in your pants, it sits on this side and in between this one. And so it's a little bit further back than your common holster. And when my arm is down, my elbow finds it every time and I know it's in a safe position. I know that I still am in control of my holster. I can feel my gun. I'm in control of it. And I know that uh, if somebody tried to grab it, you know, I, I can feel it with my elbow uh, and I know it's there. When I go to draw, it's nat more natural it's right there and I don't like wearing my holsters and that's why I've designed this one and the way I've designed all of my speed holsters is to be a little bit further back as your, your clothing can conceal it it's not sitting directly on your side it's just a little bit behind you so when you draw it has about a 10 degree cant to it and you can also find it without looking this holster does not collapse is a nine ounce material um, and uh, that's about it for that we'll talk about break-in next okay so this is my speed version I call this my speed holster uh, it doesn't collapse down it's very sturdy uh, the one thing that a lot of people want to do is because you see all these other brands can't say any names specific but that are real flimsy and, and you can collapse them down and they want to break these in. You want my holster stays firm. You don't want to bend this holster up uh, when there's no gun in it. It will naturally break in over time. Um, I've already got, I already have the angle in it so your belt will slide directly through it. Um, there's no real adjustments to it. Um, if you need adjustment you need to send it back to me and tell me what you don't like about it. I'll make it right. But the one thing that this holster does do is it does shrink. I do um, use a Glock. Uh, if you're ordering a Glock, or I have most of them. I even have the blue guns. But they are just like uh, a Kydex holster when I'm done with it. And it is very firm and it holds your gun. You cannot drop this gun out upside down. But uh, the first couple times in the first while that you're using it, you're going to have some draw issues. You need to sit down one evening, take some wax paper, turn it inside out, wrap your gun with the wax paper, and work this gun inside and out. What that's going to do is that's going to put some wax inside of this leather and, and, and at, at the wear points, and it won't wear the finish off your gun if you line the, the gun. You can even use a plastic bag and let it sit overnight or a couple nights um, to, uh, to, wear, to, to, to stretch this leather out a little bit. The one thing, it does shrink, um, but that's what we want. We want a good retention so it's not going to fall out if you're running. Uh, it's not going to. Somebody can't easily just grab it from you. It has retention, and uh, the nice thing about these are is that I'm um, using a good grade A nine ounce leather. I double it up. I don't just put a little sliver through here just to reinforce that. I do some kind of design on every holster. Um, this is for a, a mason friend of mine that I'm making it for, and uh, I'm getting ready to ship it out tomorrow. But uh, I'm just trying to make sure everybody understands that my holsters are different. Uh, they do take some break in, and you can see that I allow enough room for your your hand and your grip. I don't have huge hands. Uh, I don't have small hands either. That uh, you can get your grip, you can get your hand in there, get a good grip on it. Index finger falls right there. It's ready to draw, and um, that's about it. I mean, if you have problems with it, send it back. I'll make it right. Um, but it's just a matter of 
the break in, taking the time, let the gun sit in the holster, uh, wrapping some paper around it, uh, wax paper backwards so you wax the inside. Every gun is a little bit different. All Glocks are within a thousandths of being smaller, bigger, whatever, so I would rather ship them to you a little bit tight than a little bit loose. So thank you for watching. Cinepole Leatherworks, uh, cinepoleleatherworks.com. Check it out. Uh, and uh, this is also the mag holster for it. Most of my mag holsters come in. Um, the Glock seem to always fit very nice. I don't have any kind of shrinkage issue or, or fitting issue with them. Sometimes the 1911s, you sometimes got to stretch a little bit out on the 1911 hol uh, mag holsters I make. But uh, these fit very nicely, and they're a longer one, and you know they kind of are a little bit tight. Um, but uh, they're not going to fall out. And, um, you know, that's about it. Thanks for watching. And common shoe polish, uh, clear shoe polish is all you need if you scratch this leather, uh, just a service scratch or whatever from wear and tear, to polish them back to the finish that they're in right now. That's all it takes. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your holster.